should be hearing from a coach. Ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker is Toastmaster Jamaluddin Jami. The by profession, Toastmaster Jamaluddin Jami is the director of career and professional development service at a private university. But rest assured, he doesn't only teach grown-ups. Actually, his contribution ranges from school kids to grown-ups. He is one of the organizers of English Olympiad for kids participated by thousands around the country. In Toastmasters, he was the charter members of Bangladesh Youth Toastmasters Club. Currently a member of Mastermind Toastmaster Club, he was also the former Vice President of Education of Bangladesh Youth Toastmasters Club and current President of Bangladesh Youth Toastmasters Club. And simultaneously, he is also currently the Area Director of Area L5 of Division L. A division champion of speech evaluation, an author of books relating to public speaking, and most importantly, a beautiful and well-mannered man. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Toastmaster Jamal Uddin Jami. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster of the evening, fellow Toastmasters, and a lot of guests. I am really excited today to deliver my speech, seeing 152 people in a Toastmasters orientation program. I am really lucky to be here. And those who are the guests today, I can give you a word that if you are with us, just next half an hour, most probably not more than 40 minutes, that will help you change your lives. When I'm talking about changing lives, of course there is something, and today I'm gonna to cover Toastmaster Pathway Education. I do not have many slides, most probably, but I love to talk from my heart, from my brain, that really can connect with you, and today I'm gonna to do the same. So I will request take master not now, later on, when I want to show you about the Pathway slides. So keep ready that one as well, take master. Few days back, I was reading an article from Business Insider. You have heard the name Business Insider, the famous magazine of this planet. Yes, Business Insider. So Business Insider was interviewing one of the HR, I mean, head of HR of uh, famous back in Wall Street. And they were asking just one question to that person. The name was Liz Lieberman. The question was, based on what you recruit your new employees and you give promotion to your old employees. And she answered with two words, people skills. A study, a research was conducted by Harvard University and Stanford Research Center. And it shows that, I mean, they have conducted this study on successful people. Why do become, people become successful? They have uh, studied on that. So, this, it says, I mean, the study says that 85% of your career success depends on people skill. The other name of people skill is called soft skill. And shockingly, only 15% is on your technical skill. I mean, the certification we have, the technology I know, that thing. So soft skill is really, really important. Like for me, uh, I work for a private university as a director of placement department. So I do have very good relationship with HR people, with professional corporate people. So when I send resumes of our graduates to them, they reply certain things. And one of the things uh, that please do something with the attitude, with communication skill, with problem solving. So it, I mean, the soft skill part, please cover for your students. See? people skill or soft skill, the vital thing to become successful. So what are these people skill or soft skills? The way you negotiate, the way you communicate, the way you lead a team, the way you work in a team, the way you present certain things in front of people, the way you negotiate with the people, the way you solve certain problems, organizing things, these are called soft skill or people skill. And people, if you want to become successful, in your career, 85% of your career success depends on this soft skill. Now come to Toastmasters. What is the relationship of this soft skill to Toastmasters? I'm telling you that. So in Toastmasters, learn by doing approach, 
I'm again repeating, learn by doing approach. I mean, practically learning approach. We don't lecture those master members about leadership skills. Rather, we give members responsibilities and mentoring to help. Then they are asked to lead directly. What happened with me? I joined Toastmasters. People asked me to become the leader, VP education. I led my club. I learned by doing. I took certain roles. I gave my projects. I gave my speeches. Based on that, I learned. The result, people from all walks of life invariably increase their self-confidence and become a better speaker, a better listener, a better presenter, a better pursuer, a better leader, and a much more effective communicator. Once you can become effective communicator, you don't have any problems, especially you don't have to face any challenge. So there is no instructor in Toastmasters meeting. Instead, members evaluate one another's presentations. This friendly feedback process is key part of the program's success of our success, meeting participants, I mean, those who are not taking roles, so they can also take part in impromptu talks on assigned topics, conduct meetings and develop skills related to timekeeping, grammarian. Today we have a timekeeper, tech master, toast master of the evening, same thing. A grammarian, we do record for our meeting and a parliamentary procedure. I mean, we follow certain things while giving our speech. In the process, members get improved their public speaking skills, build leadership skills, maximize their potential, enjoy unlimited personal growth, writing speeches, and presenting in a group setting. Now, come to Pathway. What is Pathway? Tech Master, could you please open my slide? Tech Master? Thank you very much. Once you become, like when I became part of Toastmasters community, when I became member, I was asked to get enrolled in my pathway program. And for me, I got effective coaching pathway. So effective coaching pathway, I learned a lot of things from there. I mean, each pathway is divided in five levels. First level, see first speech was icebreaker. I mean, in icebreaker, they have, I mean, my mentor uh, worked with me to develop a speech. That is my icebreaker speech, the basic structure, how to write an intro, an intro, how to write a body and a conclusion with a message. This is the basic structure of any speech should be. You should have an attractive, engaging intro, how to write a body, how to make humor, how to, uh, connect, uh, how to connect your audience to your body language, how to improve your vocal variety, voice modulation, three parts of the pitches, facial expressions, eye contact, these are the things inside the body. And finally, a message with, the, I mean, a conclusion with the message, that one sentence message. So that was my first learning from my mentor to develop my icebreaker. Second one, evaluation and feedback. See how I learned? In my professional life, I work for a university. In our meeting, what happens? Like one of my peer colleagues gave one reference or example or uh, raised an issue. Based on that, everyone is talking. So what happens in our practical life when we talk against, like uh, you are given an argument and I do not like it. What happens? I directly attack back you and make a quarrel or discussion. That should not be in Toastmasters, what happens? We call it sandwich formula while giving feedback because right at this moment, we are giving feedback about the past that you have done something mistakenly so that in future, you do not repeat that mistake. So, I mean, I'm helping you giving, by giving my feedback, but ultimately, if we do not know that sandwich formula, I mean, before Toastmasters, I didn't know that. So while I'm using this sandwich formula in my feedback process, my communication gets better because these days I do not have any problem with my colleagues. So I learned it from my pathway, how to give feedback, how to evaluate people. So that sandwich formula from here, I incorporate in my professional life. So here, Five core competencies, like in pathway, if you can finish, there are 11 pathways, you can see. Can you uh, uh, move on to the slide? Tech master, next slide, please. Uh, next slide. Uh, the pathway picture, yeah, this one. 
please. Yeah, you see, there are 11 pathways. Actually, if you can complete, if anybody can complete these 11 pathways, path, these pathways offer more than 300 competencies across 59 projects. Like for me, for effective coaching, I had to finish 15 projects. So I learned a lot of things from there. So how to communicate, how to negotiate. See, I uh, listed down the soft skill I told you before, that 85% of your career depends on that soft skill. So if you can finish this pathway, I mean, from there, you can learn 300 plus competencies, skill sets. These are all soft skills related. So behavioral related, leadership related. So once you have these skills, you can become successful in your career, of course. The five core competencies are public speaking, interpersonal communication, strategic leadership, management, and confidence. Confidence is unique because it cannot be taught. Rather, you acquire it. How can you acquire confidence? Definitely. Once, in my, I can still share my first day icebreaker, I wasn't confident enough. I made 28 times as, ums, you knows. And the R counter we call in Toastmasters meeting, R counter counted that I made 28 times as. I made a lot of grammatical mistakes. I randomly used my hand gesture and I walked like a mad man in the meeting. But after the meeting, I received feedback from my evaluator. This is the improvement area you can work on. When I received from my evaluators my improvement areas, I started working on that. So after working certain days, truly, gradually, I improved. And today, when I'm talking, I am a confident speaker because I worked on my pathways. I prepared my speeches. I gave my speeches based on that truly by process putting myself into that environment, basically I improved. And today's me in front of you, giving a speech, a confident person, definitely anyone can say, a British person is here, he, she will say as well, yes, he is confident. Though I'm make, making a lot of mistakes, that doesn't matter because my evaluator is here, he will be giving me feedback about my performance today. And I will incorporate those feedbacks in my next performance. By this learning, I mean, doing process, basically, we work in our Toastmasters. So in each part, you can learn multiple comp competencies. For example, if uh, you want to work on your public speaking or interpersonal communication or management or leadership development, you can work uh, on your uh, innovative coaching and leadership development pathway. So that pathway will help with that. With that, there are 11 pathways I have already shared. You can see here, and definitely these 11 pathways may uh, If you see that dynamic leadership, you'll see effective coaching. Like if you want to build your skills as a strategic leader and conflict resolver, you will focus on uh, your facilitating changes. You can uh, get this from that uh, dynamic leadership pathway. If you want to build your skills as a positive communicator and leader and a coach, you can take effective coaching pathway. I have just finished this effective coaching pathway. I have learned certain things from mentoring. I have learned certain things from uh, coaching. So the relationship between coach and coachee, how to give feedback, how to work with your mentee. So these are the things I learned and I incorporated in my professional life. You can work with your innovative planning while doing your innovative planning pathway. You can. Uh, you can work on how innovative you are while working on a certain project. You need to work minimum six months to complete a project. Uh, I mean, the last project for innovative pathway, innovative planning. So that will help you certain things. Uh, I mean, regarding your uh, project management, regarding your innovative planning things. And it, the next one, leadership development. These 11 pathways, I mean, if I want to uh, go to details of these pathways, it will take minimum half of the day. So actually for one pathway, if you want to finish, it will take to finish one year. Last one year, I have finished one pathway that is effective coaching. This year, I have taken another pathway that is presentation mastery. So next year, you will see a different me because I'm working on my presentation mastery. Hopefully next year, I will be mastering presentation. Through this process, basically, once you become a member of Toastmasters community, basically we assign mentors for every new member. So new member works with the old member, I mean mentor. So mentor-mentor relationship is there. He is going to help you how to uh, work your pathway, how to write your script, how to deliver this, and a lot of things. And we do it for free. 
no money because once you become member of Toastmasters, you are paying certain amounts. So hopefully another speaker will be talking or we'll have a lot of sessions or you can talk directly our chartered president, Yasir Ahmed Milon, he will be helping you. $65 for the first time. Then after each six months, you will be paying $45. So we are paying the same amount for international fee. So if we pay through this process, you can definitely develop. And again, I'm saying one thing that 85% of your career success. There, there was another study conducted by Carnegie Research Institute says that, okay, you do not want to do job, you want to do business. Yes, 85% of your financial success depends on the way you negotiate, the way you communicate and lead the team members. So see negotiation, communication and leadership is there. So if you want to become successful financially in your business or in job, in your career, you need soft skill of people skill. And Toastmaster is a complete package where you can develop 300 competencies from here. And so you shouldn't wait as early as possible. Please join this change making platform and become change maker. Change yourself, become successful. And the new normal is coming after pandemic. See, the world we saw five months back and the world is coming are not going to be the same world. This is going to be a different world where challenges are there. So if you want to face these challenges, you need to be something. Thank you very much. Over to you, Toastmaster of the evening.